clearly makes uh, sense that you have two molecules who are not only really renally safe, but there is the combination provides good renal protection also. And DAPA is recommended up to stage four. Right. But if you look at the data, then these two molecules are very safe when they are used in people with moderate or you know uh, maybe even advanced CKD. Lena Glipkin has been shown on experimental basis to reduce infarct size in rats, reduce myocardial fibrosis. It has direct cardiac benefits. It has uh, significant uh, evidence on cardiovascular safety in humans. Plus, it has renal safety. It is recommended across all uh, across the range of all stages of CKD. Dapagliflozin again by by preventing and improving heart failure even in presence of uh, uh, low G EGFR. Dapagliflozin and linagliptin when combined in these CKD patients ought to decrease uh, or improve the cardiovascular outcomes across these CKD subsets. And that is the advantage of combining these two drugs in CKD patients. So, linagliptin and dapagliflozin in this particular uh, combination. So, uh, they are uh, the uh, evidence-based recommendations in, uh, across the type of patients with uh, uh, diabetes, including chronic kidney disease. Availability of uh, HGLT2 inhibitors uh, uh, has really changed. Uh, revolutionized, I would say, the management of uh, diabetic nephropathy. And uh, 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 then uh, 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 with linagliptin. Now, why uh, with the linagliptin? Uh, as a nephrologist, what I see uh, is that uh, many of the patients are on the for inhibitor already. And uh, when they come into the nephrology clinic, uh, when kidney disease sets in, either in the form of proteinuria or decreased GFR, uh, they develop an uh, 1A recommendation for uh, initiating them on HGLT2 inhibitor. So, linagliptin added to dapagliflozin can uh, very well serve this particular uh, purpose uh, when one is uh, uh, thinking of putting patients on HGLT2 inhibitor.